Hey, I'm Hillary and I live in remote Yukon, a long, long, long way from the grocery store. Normally when it comes to preparing for our 10 hour round trip to the grocery store every six to eight weeks, I am extremely prepared. Lists, Excel files, bins, bags, you name it, I've got it. Now this time I wasn't quite as prepared. I didn't create a list and that's because I was headed down to the West Coast to visit with family. Grocery shopping just wasn't front of mind. However, I had to create a list while a long way from home. So that's what I did. I did my best to recall what we had at home and I consulted my mom's cookbooks for meal ideas. And then I looked online for recipes for special occasions. I created a long and exhaustive list and a rough meal plan for the next six to eight weeks. I placed a large online grocery order so what do you think? Did I forget anything on my grocery trip? I do groceries every six to eight weeks because I live a 10 hour round trip from the grocery store. I wanna show you what our meals look like over the course of six to eight weeks. In the first week or two, we eat a lot of fresh veggies and fruit. We use up the things that will go first and then we move on to other vegetables. After our leafy greens have been eaten, we move to things that last a bit longer like peppers, cabbage, cauliflower, and so on. We eat vegetables every single day, but as the weeks pass, we rely more on frozen veggies or veggies we've frozen and canned from our garden in the summer. The images you see now are examples of meals I've made about a month or more into our groceries. Our community is really awesome and we often pick up or have friends pick up fresh veggies when in town. This is an example of a meal six weeks into our groceries. This is actually a pretty typical meal for us. Oh, and when it comes to cravings, we just bake or cook whatever we feel like. We also love how much we rely on our garden in the summer. Three years ago, I moved from a big city to a community of about 90 residents in the Yukon. People often ask me if life up here is boring, and in fact, it's quite the opposite. The simple things have become the most fulfilling, like walks with my dog, canoeing on nearby lakes, foraging, campfires, lake water, sunsets that feel like we're the only people watching them, watching my garden grow and eating from it, making meals for my friends and exploring with them, bike rides through the community and to see the views. This place is truly incredible and I'm grateful to live here. My husband and I live in a remote community of about 90 residents. Our friends came and spent a few days with us. Here's what we did with them. We went by the school. We also stopped at the tiny post office we have. We rode our bikes to the creek every day. And we went to the Yukon Alaska border, which is right outside the community. We braved the mosquitoes a lot. We went by the 1202, which is the community's gas station. We also stopped by our tiny little library. We went to the visitor center where our friends got to feel how heavy gold is. We went to the one and only restaurant in our community called Buckshot Betty's. Our friends ordered a pizza, which is my husband's favorite. We also stopped by the huge map where we can see just how far west Beaver Creek is, and we all got matching hats. <laughs>